What up dudes? My name is Pixel Tricks. Welcome back to Resident Evil. Today I'm actually gonna be grabbing the handgun because I was like thinking about it. I think I've used a little too much shotgun ammo already. It's very scarce in hard mode. And I've left some zombies alive that can definitely give me some trouble. Whoops. And um I need to improvise. <laughs> need to. So I, I have an idea of how I'm gonna handle all this. So first we have to get the doll collar. But before that, there's um, some handgun ammo right next to it. You have to hug the wall right here and we can just run past that zombie. Sometimes he can grab you, but uh, most of the time if you hug the wall, you should be fine. Um, so we can go over here, and there's a handgun ammo right here. So we're going to take it and combine it and put it into our gun. So now we have 15 shots. Grab the dog whistle and then we have to get out. This part over here is like really weird. We have to go out the way we came. And he already has a lighter. The reason I didn't go and grab the lighter, he's a smoker. So, um, yeah, you don't have to worry about getting a lighter for him. Yeah, you see, he, that zombie's really aggressive. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for this one to show up. And hopefully blow off his head. Nice. Okay. Fine with this. Okay, good. So now we are going to leave this area because we have to go get the armor key to get in a few rooms that we couldn't get into before. And we're going to go just over here. First we have to deal with the dogs again. I'm trying to beat this under three hours um, in game time. The thing about that is it goes through cutscenes, which is a bitch. And if you pause, it's still the timer is still going. Okay. It's kind of... That's a risky dodge. You can normally go around, but it saves a few seconds just to dodge that zombie. Um, Alright, so... The reason I grabbed the sh handgun is because this zombie I didn't take care of before. He has a very high chance of his head blowing off. Even with the handgun. Even with the standard handgun. So I just went over there and I capped him real fast. Okay. Right here is ri really risky. I could get seriously injured. I need to go to my defense item. Swap with that. Okay, I'm gonna use the dog whistle. We have 14 shots. Okay, wait for it to show up. Okay. Okay. It's dead. I'm gonna mash out of this one. I need to grab this really fast before it gets up. I'm gonna try my best. This is so risky. I'm gonna try to heal myself. Get past this dog. Nice! Ah, oh, that went so well. So I didn't waste any shotgun shells right there. And I got I got the collar. I didn't even have to kill the other dog. There that is actually really good news. Okay. Um I'm gonna unequip this. Good. Okay. So now I'm gonna go through this door. This is another thing that can go very poorly. I'm at full health now, I believe, because I healed myself, but this crimson head is here now, as you can see. <laughs> and we all know how Pixatrix <laughs> handles crimson heads, as we've seen before, not well. So hopefully I can get through that without getting destroyed by that man. Crimson head on hard mode, oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna grab this, the actual armor key. We have just enough room for it. Playing risky right now. Holy shit, dude. Okay. So we're gonna activate this trap. It's like, no, look at this. Look at that thing spin so joyfully. Okay, then we're gonna examine. No, not use. I'm gonna examine this. There's a switch. We're gonna press it. That's gonna reveal this uh, coin, quote unquote. I'm gonna examine this, turn it around, and it's a fake key. You can't really use it on anything. Although, I mean, like door wise although you can use it here in place of the real key and that will deactivate that trap um, for those who don't know mm. this is going so good right now all right definitely at least I'm conserving ammo now this is what I'm worried about crimson head boys okay I don't know how I'm gonna I just need to run past him and get in that door that I went in from so 
Nice. All right, I got the door trigger. Even though he was right in front of me, I was just mashing the open door. <laughs> we got in there. Okay, good. So now another zombie's gonna show up. Which isn't too good. It's all right. So there's gonna be another zombie in there. But that's fine for now. I wanna go in here and deposit something. Um, deposit this now. Yeah. Okay. Even though it would be useful to use on the zombie up there, I, I think I'm just gonna try to blow off its head with the shotgun shell. Even though I think it's a low chance that that will work with that particular zombie. Oh my god, pixel trick plate. <laughs> you know what? That's perfectly fine. Because we're actually coming up in a room with green herbs. That's why I got the extra inventories. Well, we needed it anyway, because we're going to be picking up a death mask. But I needed the extra inventory space. I, like, I had to put it away, dude. Alright. So we're going to go in here and deal with that plant. Um, we have the chemical to use on plants that we got earlier. Just going to go right around here. Drop this baby off. I'm in the red, wow. Okay. And now, we're going to turn this to... The red side. I wonder what happens when you turn it to the green. Does it make it like a super powered plant? <laughs> I actually don't know. I would assume it wouldn't be too good. We would just water it. <laughs> okay, so there's plenty of green herbs here. I don't want to waste too much time getting them, but I would like to he heal. I don't think this is even going to be full health. Combine this. I don't know what I needed to do. Grab one extra. I'm gonna be greedy. Okay. Alright, so we got our first death mask. Which is good. Alright. So now we're gonna get out of here. Hmm. And we actually are gonna be able to pick up some shotgun shells, which is useful. Watch out, dude. This is a scary part. Oh, no! Hmm. <laughs> That's scary. Why is this game so terrifying? We gonna unlock this door right here and get through. We're actually going to come right back, but um, what we're going to do, we're going to go out to pick up that blue uh, gemstone that we knocked down earlier from that statue, which is right across in this room. So we're going to go pick this up because we, just like Jill, we need to get more shotgun shells. I didn't know how much extra ammo I had with Jill until it was too late. <laughs> I mean, in comparison to this, you know what I mean? It's just like, oh my god, I'm so, <laughs> it's so scary, dude. All right. That's just fine. Now we can go back in here. I'm gonna attempt to take care of that zombie right there that you saw in the hallway. That's just kind of lurking. I might just dodge him. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna go in here and go this hallway. Right in here. This isn't gonna be the last time we go in this place, but we only have one gemstone, but it's worth to get the extra ones right now. I'm gonna use this right here. That in the tiger's eye, and that is gonna reveal some shotgun shells uh randomly behind it i don't know what would you do if you had a mansion i would definitely have stuff like this look how bad i'd hide shotgun shells all over the place i don't see why not don't question it dudes it is a pretty cool lion looking theme though all right here's some risky strats coming up i do have a green herb on me um so I'm going to attempt not to kill the zombie, even though it's recommended that you definitely should. Not this guy. When you go in here, you need to go into the keeper's room. There's going to be two zombies, actually. It's kind of a bitch. All right. So, let me get the keeper notes. Normally, when you open this the door with Jill, it's um, just like a defense item. With Chris, it's something you actually need. An uh, old key. I'm gonna hug the wall here a little bit. Just get past that guy. Oh, and check out the clothes a little bit <laughs> by accident. All right, nice. So we got the key. So now we're just gonna run past this man. And so far so good. Okay, nice, nice. I was very worried. I actually don't think I have enough, I don't have enough room to pick up something that I need. But it's okay, I'm going back to the storage room regardless. That's fine. Okay. Fair enough. Nice. 
So now, I would love to pick up that ink ribbon if I only had enough room for it. <laughs> oh boy. It's fine though, they actually are pretty generous with ink ribbons in this game. I remember I had like so many at the end of my Joe one. I would imagine there'd be plenty with Chris. So if you remember earlier, we unlocked this door uh, before we discarded that key. You want to unlock all the doors that are like specific to one key so you can discard it like as fast as you can. And that's what I'm going to be doing with the armor key in a little bit. Alright, so we're going to go in here with the armor key. This is magic key, I haven't examined it, I'm trying to get through it fast. For the achievement and check this out you chris redfield alpha team we're here to rescue you richard what the hell happened to you chris this place get your team out of here demons everywhere don't talk he seems to have been bitten by a poisonous snake, but the size of the bite mark is huge. It's not just any ordinary snake. <laughs> Take my word for it. He needs serum. I left it in another room. I'll go get it. Please hurry. Hold on. I'll be back. Oh my god, her voice is magnificent. <laughs> It's so like high pitched and like so girly. I love it. That's Rebecca. And we all know Kenneth. Okay, it's just showing me where to go. So now we're gonna go straight and get the serum. Uh we're not gonna mess around with anything. We're just gonna go straight there. Uh, a little worried for some things that could go wrong right here. Because so far it's going magnificently. Um I am gonna do the risky strat and just run. This is a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it because I wanna save time. Yeah, it's Rebecca, and uh, she's definitely hot. She's fucking hot, dude. <laughs> All right. All right, so we have to go back to the storage room. We have to get the serum. We have to deposit the screen herb. There's going to be an extra zombie here now. This one, unfortunately, his head does not blow off easily. As you can see. Which is not good. And I don't have anything to burn its body with. Okay. It's gonna be a zombie right here. Hey, right. we're fast enough so he didn't uh, show up. But that zombie that's normally on the stairs is all the way at the end of the hall now. Okay, let's see. How am I gonna deal with this? Need to ditch some stuff. I'm gonna ditch this. Um, I'm gonna ditch this. Okay, I need this. Unequipped you. Uh, combine you. Unequipped. Grab this serum. Okay. Resident Evil camera angle. <laughs> I'm like, I want to do good. So, if we don't get the serum to Richard, he will die in four minutes. Uh, exactly. Which is actually really easy to do. I just want to make sure it's done. Wow, this zombie went down in one hit. Oh, fuck me. You have to get like the right angle, which is really awkward. If I don't do this, he'll come back as a crimson head. That's something I don't want to deal with. Okay. This is a, no. Okay, I thought I saw another zombie body. I was like, wait. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay, good. Ah, lovely. Oh, fuck me, dude. I messed up. Oh no, he has the flash grenade too. Okay, this is gonna go boom. <laughs> Fuck it. Okay, well, the zombie's dead, now I'm hurt. <laughs> no, it was going so well. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Okay. Just gonna run back and get him to serum really fast. Just so... And we have that green herb, so it's not too bad. It's unfortunate I had to waste my uh, flash grenade to that zombie, but now he's gonna be dead. Although, we won't be dealing with him that much anyway, but uh, now we won't have to stop and dodge. We can just run back and forth. I thought I switched it. I guess you have to confirm once you switch. Anyway. Hope this is what you wanted. Thank you. I'm gonna give you a shot now, Richard. Hang in there. 
Here, take it. It's a radio. Take care of yourself, Rebecca. <gasps> Richard! He's okay. He's just unconscious. Rebecca, it's not safe here. Let's get Richard to a safer place. Right. Richard's doing well, Chris. He should recover soon. Good. Richard needs you now. As soon as Richard gets better, we'll come after you. Rebecca, you okay with a gun? Yes. All right. I'm going to continue my investigation. Be careful. Okay? She's so fucking hot, dude. <laughs> okay. So let me think. So we actually take him back here. Um, I'm going to go back inside. I want to ditch the uh, oil that we have used to burn bodies. Just want to get rid of it. This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. I could pretty much treat any wound. Want me to treat your wounds? Yeah, would you? Oh, wow. That's cool. I didn't know about this. Okay, cool. Thanks. Somebody sure knows how to get a deal. Most of the medical supplies here are from Umbrella. Umbrella? Don't you know? They're only the biggest taxpayers around here. They make most of these medicines right here. Homegrown in Raccoon City. But there's not much left, so take care of yourself. Thank you. How sick was that? That was something I had no idea what would happen. Alright, well nice. Okay. So we're gonna ditch that. Do I need anything else? Now that I'm here, I don't believe so. Okay. Oof. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to think. So we actually have to go back, oddly enough, to this spot where we just were at. So we... <laughs> we see them, and then we go back to the storage room, right? And then... We get... Uh, get this room, go back to them, and then we pour it back to the storage room. And then afterwards, we have to go back to where they were. So it's kind of like we're going back and forth like two or three times. <laughs> it's just kind of silly. Okay, well, this zombie's dead. So now we just run through. Um, which is alright, I guess. I guess that's the bright side of that. That's fine. We got a, uh, got a nice little cutscene that I didn't know about. That's cool. Alright, so before um, we go in there and do that, we're going to go in here. Use the uh, mansion key. I believe is armor key because we want to proc it so we can discard it um in a little bit here because we need the inventory space again you want to um try your best to manage your inventory space uh so you could discard stuff as quick as possible especially with chris i'm gonna go over here and there is a defensive dacker what's the only reason you want to come in here might as well grab it it's free there's no grenade launcher um for Chris, poor guy. He gets another cool thing, but we'll see that as we get to it. A little later on. We're not going to get the cool fun items till uh, a bit later. Okay, so now we're going to go this way. And we're going to go back in that room. I'm a little worried about this part because um, there's a zombie that if you don't take care of him, he will chase you into the next room. That's kind of a common theme on hard mode and... Because this campaign, zombies are just kind of like always on his ass. There's a zombie in this room now too. But you can easily avoid him. Just go behind that pillar. He's not what I'm talking about. It's this next one. This one would actually follow Jill if you don't kill it in uh, her thing too. This guy. So. You actually can blow off his head. Doesn't always happen. Unfortunately, I did not blow his head off there. That is okay. I think he's still dead. Like I said earlier. Um, oops. Chris already has a lighter. Um, in that slot right there. That's his personal lighter he uses. And uh, normally that slot's reserved for Jill's lockpick and her thing. Since I'm trying to conserve ammo, I'm actually going to wait for this guy to come out. And this is another reason why you want to take care of that zombie outside, so you can do this if you want. 
so we can juke him, go around. We can grab the musical score. Now we can go out and get out of here. Nice! Alright. So yeah, again, that was unfortunate the zombie is still alive. He will be coming back as Crimson Head, but fortunately we're not going to be around for that. As long as I am quick enough. I think it takes about like 20-30 in-game minutes for them to proc, uh, like turn into Crimson Heads. I actually am not sure about that. I always try to go really fast. But now that we have the musical note, we want to go back to the main hall. And just like before, we have to play the piano, the Moonlight Sinatra. Shout out to all my people who play piano. I used to play a little piano back in the day. I was more into slap bass. Yeah, I play, I play a little slap, well I used to. And guitar, I think, you know. I went dabbles in the guitar at one point, am I right? So now we're gonna go down here. I believe this is probably the fastest way to get there from there, yeah. Just gonna go through here. And um, the one thing I'm worried about is this zombie right here. I need to look at my ammo really fast. So I have six shots on my shotgun and eight in reserve. So this should be plenty of ammo now for me to deal with the zombie. So I don't have to dodge him like a couple times in a row. We'll come back as a crimson head. Except now he won't because he's just mega dead. <laughs> nice. I got really lucky with his head blowing up. It's a low chance his head blows off right there. So I actually got really lucky. That was the zombie that attacked us in the first bit of the game, so we just got our revenge. Which is cool, because we're going to go in that hall a couple times right now. So we're going to go over here and push this. We only need to push it once. And then we can grab what's behind it, the musical score. We're going to combine these two. Like so. I should have combined it in front of this. This is fine. And we're going to learn some cool music, dudes. Check it out. Me, Chris. Rebecca. That sounded like Moonlight Sonata. It did? Like. Play? What was that? My interpretation is off a little. Let me practice for a while. Yes. <laughs> sure. But don't get too carried away. Oh, I won't. <laughs> oh, you know, we're in a house full of zombies. Our friend is dying, but I want to practice the Moonlight Sonata. <laughs> this is such a ridiculous scene. I love it. <laughs> By the way, Chris, she's way better than you, so you can't even talk trash. Yeah, she's like, wait, he was just, like, banging on it. How did that sound like Moon Moonlight Sonata, though? <laughs> she must have better ears than me. Regardless, now that we're now that she's practicing, we're going to go in here and get this emblem that's above the fire. Fire emblem. And we are going to actually go all the way over here and leave the room. Then we're immediately going to go back to where we were. Because um, that just, like, is a trigger that gave her enough time to practice the Moonlight Sonata because Chris is not too good though. He was more of a slap bass player, just like myself, so he wasn't too good at piano. This thing about music, um, if you understand like keyboard, you just understand everything. It's like, oh, well, never mind. I'm not gonna talk about that. But anyway, so now we can go through here and we're gonna listen to some cool tunes. Which is pretty neat, my dudes. I actually love this interaction. <laughs> it's really funny. Chris! Chris! I think I got it! Chris! Chris! <laughs> I love this girl, dude. It's beautiful. Dun, dun. Practice makes perfect. Yay. Huh? What's this? What is these? 
I like her. I can relate to this girl. Okay. So now we're gonna go in here. We're gonna take this uh, hot new gold emblem. I'm gonna uh, just uh, grab that. The door is gonna go down again. And we're gonna replace it with the old and busted. So then that's gonna go up. And actually, you could talk to Rebecca right here again. And it's really fast, so I'm gonna just do it because it's really funny. Hello. Were you all right in there? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Blah. I love that girl. She's cool. All right, all right. So that was fine. But now, okay. Now, um, it's not over yet, dudes. There's actually some scary stuff now. That could go horribly wrong. I could just immediately die. So I'm actually worried. All right. So we're gonna go in here really fast. Put. Ugh, I wasn't close enough. My B. There we are. Fit that. Nice in there. So that. As you can see, that painting right next to it is the clue to this puzzle. I'll have to explain that in a second. It's really easy. So, they were just talking about when the two things run into each other, so we're going to try it. We're going to go large, left, because the large one has to be on the armor one. Keep turning, large, left, and that's going to do it. Because as you see, it's on the armor one, and... um. On the painting to the left, you can see the lawn one is piercing the head, and the lawn minute key was piercing the top, and the short one was piercing the guy's armor. So that's pretty much the clue that you get for that. And then we get the key to Yawn, and yes, we are going to see Yawn yet again. And if anyone has seen my Jello campaign, you know <laughs> how that went for me. Um, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't something I like to brag about, though. Which, um, hopefully it goes alright here. I guess we'll have to just go over there and see how things go. Okay, I'm ready. This actually, like, I've I've done very well. There's been some low points to this, uh, but I want to survive. Please, please, please. Okay. This is, this is, oh god, no. I forgot about that zombie too. I'm, like, nervous. Uh, I really don't want to get poisoned. Okay. Or die. Or just die, you know. That's a possibility, too. So we're going to use that one key. It's it's only one time use. The one that we did the emblems in the puzzle just now for. That's the only use for that key, which is cool. And we get to see our old pal yawn. Oh, fuck me. Okay. We're going to, like, bait him over here a little bit. Grab the death mask. And... Dip. Okay, we're safe. So Richard isn't here in the Chris campaign, so... Uh, there's really no point here. There's an achievement if you want to kill Yon. It's not really that big of a deal. But that is perfectly fine. We didn't get poisoned. It's all good. So now... There's only a couple things we have to worry about now. Um, It shouldn't be too difficult, though. Nice. Okay, I didn't get one chop by yawn. Thank you, life. Thank you. There's a spooky jump scare here, dudes. Watch out. Okay. He actually normally goes through that door. I don't know why he didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, normally when you exit that one door after yawn, that zombie breaks through that door and tries to injure you. There's a little puzzle here. It's pretty simple. Just gotta do it in this order. Okay. Oh, the sleepy night. Sorry. Why are they moving? They're freaking me out, dudes. So you just gotta push this one, and then this guy, and the one across from him. And the final one should go on its own. Okay. And then it slides, and it's real mega spooked. No way. And then woe to those who disturb my sleep. We'll press that. And that's gonna unlock the story box, dudes. Because we're Tomb Raiders. Alright. Mysterious box. Oh, I'll take it. Okay, cool. So now, we have full inventory. What we want to do is head back. It's this way. Okay. Gonna go through here. Mm hmm. I think there's another dodge we have to do right here. Yeah. 
So we have the armor key, so we want to go over here and use it on that door just to unlock it really fast. But there's one more door that unlocks with that. So before any, uh, before we do anything in that room we just unlocked, we want to go out here. Because this is the last door that we're going to use this key with. It's going to be a zombie that follows us. Now we can discard this key. But as you can hear, I'm just going to pop my defensive item. I don't want to mess up to get injured. God, okay, that was way too close. He almost grabbed me from that. That was actually really scary. But it's okay, we made it through. So now, um, I don't have enough room. So we actually have to go in here and deposit just a couple things really fast. But that's perfectly okay. I'm gonna go in here, open this right up, and deposit our jewelry box and this mask just for now because it's, um we need a couple open slots to do some puzzles in this room that we just opened up not over there but over here so and we're gonna go in here it's very similar to the jail stuff but there are, are a, there is a little difference you'll see it's kind of funny and just go in this room first because there's actually an old key. Normally in Jill's campaign there is um like health items in this room. But you actually have to go in here with Chris to get this old key. There's also an ink ribbon. I have an extra slot so I can take this. Might as well, I suppose. I don't know how many I'm gonna uh, pick up. There's apparently nothing else. Wow. Yeah, this room is packed. I think it even had some shotgun shells or maybe handgun ammo actually in Jill's run. <laughs> Either way. So now we're going to go over here. We actually have to use that old key we just got. We had another one, but yeah. Um, so to open this door. Which is cool. Okay. So now we need to get a fish hook. That is right here. Various types of fish hooks. And we're actually going to go over here. And get this um, lure of bee. And we can actually combine it. We don't want to press this button yet. But we can combine these. Go over here. Grab the B specimen. And then we can put this here. Put the B specimen right here. And then we press the button. And that will reveal the wind crest. Which we will be needing. When we go to grab it. No, zombie bees. But unlike Jill, it actually goes on Chris and he throws it to the ground. But like an idiot, he does not attempt to step on it when he clearly could have done that for me. So we have to deal with that. <laughs> um, but thankfully, we have enough time to just go in there and grab it. And then we can dip. And so we got the wind crest now. And that is perfectly alright. I don't know what it is about Chris. When he has an opening, he just doesn't know how to take it. Yeah. Story of Chris's life, I guess. Oh, here's another cool little thing, too. This note. I left some bullets in the room to the right. I'll go ahead and look for a way out. And that's from Wesker. So, yeah. Uh, Wesker actually left some bullets. Unfortunately, they're nothing too useful. It's just handgun ammo. At this point, though, I've actually proved to myself... That they're kind of worth something, so I'm going to go ahead and grab them and just storm my box. Because I don't see one out at this point. That is going to conclude Resident Evil for today. Thank you guys for watching. That actually went, um, not terribly. That, I know it seems like it did. But, um, at this point, you should only have about 10 things of shotgun ammo left. And I have, like, well over that. So, alright dudes, well thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later, peace.